Hello everybody and today we are going to complete our last um, section on states of matter. Uh, I, want, I want to discuss some things with you so you can um, know why we're doing this. When we discuss the states of matter, we have to look at it how they change from one to the other. So here's a phase change diagram, how they're changing from one to the other. And if you want to stop the video to copy this down, I would suggest that. <clears throat> so if you look at this, we have a solid, a liquid, and a gas. And how are they related? We have to think of them as the same substance, because most substances can go from a solid, liquid to a gas, gas to a solid, gas to a liquid, liquid to a solid, whatever. And there's certain words that um, indicate that process. What I've done here, the ones written in red is when you have to add energy to it. The ones written in blue is when you lose energy. So if I'm adding a lot of energy to a solid, I can sublime it directly into a gas. An example of that would be carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide sublimes directly from a solid to a gas. If I go from a gas to a solid, it's called deposition. If you can't read that, that's a deposition. Um, liquid into a gas and gas to a liquid, I'm sure you're very familiar with those terms. That's evaporation and condensation. And of course, solid to a liquid, melting, freezing. All right. <clears throat> now there's a, in most substances, there's a specific temperature in which these things occur. <clears throat> if you're going from one to the other. It also um, is um, dependent upon the atmospheric pressure. So we have another type of diagram or um, to help us with that. These are called phase diagrams. And this is a phase diagram. The first one is a phase diagram for water. And what this means is if you look at it, pressure is in atmospheres. And I need to tell you right now, there's a multitude of ways that you can measure pressure. Um, on, a, on a PowerPoint, we said that pressure be measured in atmospheres, tors, millimeters of mercury, uh, kilopascals, um, pounds per square inch, <clears throat> all those indicate pressure. If it's a normal pressure, it's one atmosphere. Um, I like to use atmospheres because one is pretty easy to multiply. All right. So at one, that's normal. One is a normal pressure. So let's look at this. If we have it at normal pressure, the freezing point, the normal freezing point is indicated right here as it goes from a solid to a liquid. Notice we have a solid, liquid, and vapor. Normal freezing point, normal boiling point, where it crosses over. This line indicates that cross from one phase to another as the temperature increases. Also, we can look at as the um, pressure increases or decreases too. Now, there are points <clears throat> along here that we need to, to take note of. Number one point is the triple point. This is when all three phases exist at the same time. So at this particular temperature, which looks like about maybe four degrees, four degrees, and at this particular atmospheric pressure, which is probably somewhere pretty low, okay, it's going to exist as a solid, liquid, and a gas. That's called the triple point. At point B, it is a critical point. This diagram is not quite correct. This little piece right here should not be on there but this critical point after this critical point there's no differentiation between a liquid and a vapor um, there is no way to differentiate them um, this is your critical pressure this is the point at which readings just cannot take place and we have a critical temperature also at this temperature and at that pressure you cannot distinguish between a liquid and a vapor okay so what we'll be doing is using these diagrams to answer questions. Um, there will be a worksheet associated with this, and I just wanted to give you a little heads up how to do that worksheet. So here is, again, our phase diagram for water. We have the same type of information. We see where the triple point is at. We see the normal pressure. Remember, whenever you look at a graph, you should, uh, when you get a graphing exercise, you should always look at the graph to see what it's really showing. It tells you where the solid, liquid, and gas are. It tells you how to, the vaporization, the condensation, the melting, the freezing, the sublimation, and deposition. So this is quite a complete graph. 
It also indicates the critical point. Remember, there's not a distinguishing factor between the liquid and the gas. So we look at this at a pressure of one atmosphere. What is a normal freezing point of water? So we look at this and we say, oh, and remember this is in degrees Celsius. We would write zero degrees Celsius. What is a normal point, boiling point of water at one atmosphere? So we go over one, it says that it's 100 degrees Celsius. In Albuquerque, Albuquerque, sorry, we live approximately 5,500 feet above sea level, which means the normal atmospheric, atmospheric pressure is less than one. So it's down in here. In Albuquerque, will water freeze at a lower temperature or a higher temperature than at one atmosphere? So is it going to freeze at a lower temperature? or a higher temperature. It looks like it's going to be at a higher temperature. So you would write higher. Will water boil at a higher temperature or, or uh, then at one? Okay, so we're a little bit lower. Okay, so if I go straight across, let's say I'm just a little bit lower. All right, here it's going to be a lower. Oh, I kicked that off. I guess I put the picture over the word. Lower. Okay? Let's try another one. Here's a phase diagram. We don't know what it's like. It's very generic. But we can still look at it. We know that section A is a solid. Low temperature, low pressure. We have a gas in this part. So if they don't have things mentioned in it, you should write, add that to it. And here's your liquid. We have the triple point right here. We have a critical point right here where you cannot distinguish between the liquids and the gases. So we're going to continue on. Now I see this is a phase diagram, um, that, a phase diagram. So I did all that information. And you know what I'm looking at here? Oh, the first question is very easy then for me to answer. It says, what section represents the solid phase? And you would write A. What represents the liquid phase? You would write C. Gas is B. What letter represents the triple point? D. In your own words, what is the definition? So think about what I've said so far. What is the definition of a triple point? Okay. Okay, at a specific temperature and pressure all three phases of the substance coexist. <clears throat> then the next question is and I'm just going to read them here and we'll keep it up here because you really don't you don't have this sheet so I just want you to be aware what we're looking at here. The normal melting point at one atmosphere of pressure. So let's go up to one. Melting mean I'm going from a solid to a liquid. So right here. And what do we have? We have an E. Okay, so letter F. F melting point. What is the substance normal boiling point at one atmosphere? So we go across right here and we'll call that G. G is boiling point. <clears throat> Above what temperature is it impossible to liquefy the substance no matter what the pressure? Okay, above what temperature? Well, it looks like, remember, this is a critical point. So if this is the critical point above this temperature, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to say <clears throat> at 110 degrees Celsius, can't liquefy. At what temperature and pressure do all three phases that coexist? So now they're asking us for two. This is called the triple point. So at letter D, the triple point, the temperature is 
45 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 0.5 atmospheres. So this gives you an indication of how to read a phase diagram so you can better understand how one substance goes to another. I hope this assists you in your worksheet.